Hello and welcome to this new edition of News Insurance Weekly. We are Monday, December the 19th, 2011. Here are the headlines. The Office of Fair Trading launched a study to investigate the rise of private motor insurance prices over the past two years. Fitch Ratings downgraded a number of Italian companies, including Generali and Fungiaria Assai. And there are major changes at Swinton, with the entire board of directors being replaced by Covia. The Office of Fair Trading launched a study into the private motor industry last week to investigate a steady increase in premium prices over the past two years. The office says they have reasonable grounds for suspecting that there are features of the UK's private motor insurance market that restrict and distort competition. According to the office, premium prices rose by an average 12% between 2009 and 2010, and a further 9% in the first three quarters of 2011. Fitch Ratings was busy last week, giving generally positive reviews of Asian insurers and generally negative ones for Europeans. Tom Hickey has more. It seems like the beginning of a domino effect. First, Filch warned a number of EU countries of credit rating downgrades, then they warned insurers, and then they downgraded insurers. Italian giants Generali and Fondiaria were among a number of Italian insurers downgraded last week as a result of the ongoing debt pressures facing Italy and Greece. Fondiaria was downgraded from BB plus to BB minus and Generali went down from AA minus to A minus. The entire board of directors at Swinton Insurance was sacked last week for putting their personal short-term interest ahead of the long-term interest of the company. French parent company Covea made the decision because it thought the former board was no longer beneficial to the company. The board at Covea replaced the board at Swinton, saying they had a responsibility to protect the company. Thank you very much for your attention. That is all for this week's edition. Tune in to newsinsurances.co.uk to read more of the insurance industry's news. And we wish you, on behalf of the News Insurance's team, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you and goodbye.